Welcome to the testing world. So previously we have done all the setup like now we have a ruby, we have ruby mine and we also have all the gems which are required for automation. Now I'll show you first script in which we are going to start Chrome browser. For that I'm just moving to the ruby mine and here I'm going to create a new project. So file new project. And I'm giving name here water automation. A new project will be created in the current window. So now I have new project here. Inside the project as of now I'm just directly creating a Ruby script file and then we'll write the code inside it. So I'm just going to the project new file and I'm just giving first script I'm just giving the name first script what kind of file you want to create I want to create a Ruby file click on OK and here you will notice a new file is created now whenever you want to work on water first of all we require water web driver library so I'm just going for require water web driver so that's the first requirement now we need to create object of the browser class so i'm writing like browser and that is water which is a module inside the module we have a class with the name browser dot new and here we need to pass which browser we want to start so we need to pass a symbol argument so i'm passing colon Chrome. It's going to start Chrome browser. I'm going to run it and I'll show you it's going to be failed. Then I'll show you why it's getting failed. So I just executed that. It is getting failed. And what we are getting, first of all, it shows water web driver is deprecated. You can only use water. So first thing I can change it over here. Like if we write only this, that will work. Second, unable to find chrome driver what does it mean now i'll tell you what do you mean by the chrome driver i'm going to write a script in ruby programming language but my browser does not understand ruby instructions because whatever the instructions i'm passing to the browser through the test case browser will not be able to understand that we need to send these instructions to the browser in the language that browsers understand now concept comes of the driver executable each browser is providing its own plugin we need to use that plugin to communicate with the browser so this plugin behave as an interface between our scripts and the browser and we can communicate with the browser through this plugin means through this interface so what we are going to do we are going to start this driver plugin and we'll send our instructions to this plugin that's the interface that plugin is going to convert our script into the format which browser understand so overall process would be I'm going to send my script or automation instructions to the browser through this plugin it's the responsibility of the plugin to convert these instructions in the language that browser understand so now it, it is asking for the same thing it is not able to find out that plugin and if you want to download it shows if you want to download you can go to this location so I got to know I'll have to use plugin which we can find on this location. So I'm just copying this to the browser. Here it shows different versions of the plugin. Now which version we need to download. For that first we need to check what is my browser version. So I'm just coming help about Google Chrome. And you will notice I'm using 60 version of the Google Chrome. Now go to the Google Chrome driver for chrome 60 and that's the first link i just click on this it shows chrome driver 2.31 is the version which is supporting chrome 58 to 60 so now we got to know i need 2.31 just go to the 2.31 and here 
will get file for Linux, Mac and Windows. I just need to download Windows. Also, it shows 32. This file is going to support both 32 as well as 64 bit system. So I'm just going to download this. Once downloading is completed, I'm just you need to unzip that file. And once you unzip that, move to that location where the file is unzipped. And that's the location for me. We need to set this path in our automation script. So how we can set this path? For setting this path, I'm just moving to my Ruby mine. For setting this path, we'll have to use Selenium WebDriver as well. Previously, we have seen in architecture, my water web driver is a wrapper over the Selenium web driver. So we need to use Selenium web driver here as well. And we need not to install it. When we are installing water web driver, it automatically install Selenium web driver as well. So we need to write first require Selenium web driver. And here we need to write Selenium web driver and which browser you want to use. So Chrome, these are the modules dot driver path is equal to what's your driver path. So my path is we have seen that I'm just setting this plugin path and this plugin is going to behave as an interface between the browser and my script. So I'm just copying this location and that's the file name. One more thing I just want to update. Whenever you are giving path is always suggestive to use forward slash. If you are using backward slash, it might be possible. It will throw some error because backward slash is used for the regular expressions. I'm showing that is not a regular expression. That's a path. And I'm just writing this in double quotes. So everything is done. I have set this Chrome driver plugin path. I'm just saving it and trying to execute. So you will notice browser started and then close. And we have just written the code for starting the browser just to create instance of the browser class. So it is starting the Chrome browser, but automatically close it. Now question comes, I did not write the code for closing the browser. Why it is closing? So in case of Chrome, when my script is going to complete browser object automatically set to null. So it automatically closed that. But if you do not want to close this browser automatically, we can control that. How we can control it? For that, we have to add this first line in our script. So wherever you are creating the driver object, before that, we need to add this line. And also, when we are creating instance of browser class as a second argument, we need to pass this desired capabilities. So I'm just using this, these two lines. Now, if I execute the same script again, you will notice browser will be started. And we are not performing any action as of now. So just browser is started. So here we have seen how we can start browser or I'll say how we can trigger Chrome browser. If you want to open URL, so now we have the object of the browser class by this object, we can call different methods. I'm calling method is go to. And here we can pass URL. So I'm passing HTTPS www.facebook.com. I'm just going to execute this script again. And you will notice this time it will start browser and enter URL as well. So browser started and it entered URL and that URL is opened. So everything is done for the current script point of view. Here our task is to trigger Chrome browser. We have started this and we also entered enter URL. For entering the URL, we are going to use method go to that we have seen here. So that's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video. Hi friends, hope you are enjoying this video. If you have any question regarding this video, 
you can ask your question in the comment section. Also, I would request you to please subscribe our channel. You can subscribe it by clicking on this subscribe button for getting notification about all the new videos which we are going to upload on the daily basis. Also, we are offering our all the video courses at very high discounted price. We have 50 plus video courses which can be beneficial for you in your daily job activities. If you are interested to buy any video course or all video course, you can call or WhatsApp us on this number. Also, you can be in touch with us by using Facebook, LinkedIn or Twitter. Happy learning!